Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? My name is GSQ Zeus, if you didn't already know, and today I am bringing you a Gears of War 4 movement tips and tricks tutorial video, as well as some wall bouncing, guys. This video is going to be for the newcomers. I'm going to be showing you everything from up A's, as you can see on the screen, to back A's, to reaction shotting, to wall bouncing, to using it all together to kill your opponents. As you can see, we have a back A right here. What all of these techniques allow you to do is kill your opponents in ways that would be easier than just hard aiming or pop shotting. Of course, you have to get used to these things and each one does help your gameplay differently. As you can see from the screen, we have a lefty flip which allows you to basically have right hand advantage but in a different situation. Not everyone knows you could do that. Basically, it allows you to have better angles to be able to shoot at somebody without getting shot at. So things like that is what's going to be going on in this video and we're going to be doing tutorials and all types of tri uh, tips and tricks. Right here you can see the drunken strafe which is just a juke tactic. Not everything is going to work but it's about being able to take all the movement you have and mesh it to together. Basically once you can get your player really moving you can be doing reaction shots, pop shots, back A's and learn how to bounce overall all together. The main thing we're going to be talking about obviously is everything together which is wall bouncing because the more you can wall bounce the more you can do everything else with quickness and I know everyone likes to wall bounce. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and we're going to get right into the tutorial. But as you can see right here, I just hit him with an up A to side A, backwards reaction shot, and then I bounce back into him with a, a basic reaction shot. So I showed you that because I want to be able to show you guys, if you combine everything that I'm about to teach you in this video, that's something you'll be able to do. Alright guys, so enough showing off, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. So basically, to be able to up A, you have to be able to practice going into cover. You have to know you got to press A, but be able to slide out of cover. If you learn how to slide out of cover, not only will that help you with wall mounting, up A, and back A, it will help you with reactions and everything. So this is the simplest of the few. All you have to do is go into cover, slide off cover, and press A forward. So all you're going to be doing is pushing your left stick forward and double tapping A after you get out of cover. So you're going to slide into cover and press A again, double tapping A and pushing forward to get the up A. Once you start doing that, quickly understanding it, you'll be able to do more and more. I'm going to show you what happens when you get quick with it. Of course, this is just private match, so we're just showing you what you can do with up A. It allows you to get around cover and kill enemies a lot quicker. As you can tell, I put that up twice and in slow-mo so you can see a lot of situations you wouldn't be able to push like that but in that situation we were able to because of the up A. So right here we're showing you the back A. Back A allows you to not put yourself in a position to get shot but actually put shots on your opponent. As you can see uh, I, I'm basically shooting him without putting myself in cover or out of cover too much so I get the shot off and I get the kill. So it's basically similar to the up A but obviously instead of going forward you're gonna go backward. So this is where pulling off the cover comes in handy. If you can practice pulling off cover and getting shots off, it's really easy. Now, there's a big accuracy issue with back A. Accuracy is everything if you back A. You can't just back A and expect it to go. So you can hard aim or you can pop shot to get it off. As you can tell right there, that's how it swiftly works if you back, uh, back A and you get the shot off. Alright guys, so now we're going to jump right into the lefty switch. For you, those of you who don't know, lefty switching is very important to me. All you have to do is aim left and pull off the wall. So you get into the wall, you aim to your left, and you pull off the wall. Instead of actually going back, you just pull off while hard aiming. Not only does this allow you to keep more distance from your opponent, but you have way more cover. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right here. I told him to get up. Now I'm going to get into cover and have him lance or spray me when the lefty position. And look, look how much he puts into me when I'm not in lefty position. Now we're going to let him get up and watch how much he puts into me when I am in lefty position. You guys can see how different the uh, advantage is. Look at all the shots he's missing because you can barely see my body. And look at the shots I'm able to get off. So that is one of the best things for 1v1s and having an advantage without right hand. 
Alright guys, so now we're going to get back into drunken strafing, which was in the beginning of the video, of course. Now, this is completely subjective, guys. You can, It's all about movement and just going left to right on your joystick and just strafing and roadie running. If you don't know what roadie running in is, that's just holding down A to your left or right, or just uh, holding A in general, but then strafing like I am. So, strafing is completely subjective, guys. I just do it to add some movement to throw people off. As you can tell, I'm wall bouncing. I throw a little strafe in there and for the body. So, that is totally up to you guys. It's just basic movement left to right. So, now we're going to get right into the reaction shot, guys. This is the hardest thing to learn. Basically, what you want to do is get on walls and practice aiming at the target, but using the tactics we learned earlier. So you have to understand how to back A and how to up A to be able to reaction shot. So basically, we're going to have our character get on the wall, and I'm going to show you a slow motion. Like You can aim at the guy, but while pushing forward on your, thumb, your thumbsticks like you were doing a up A, you can shoot at them while looking at them. So doing the exact same movement you would in the up A, pushing your thumbstick forward, but you keep your right analog stick on the character view. So you do your up A, but you keep the view on the character. I know it's hard to explain, and eventually I will get a hand cam so I can do this. In Hold up. We're not done yet. But throughout time, you will get used to the reaction shot. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple gameplays of just me running around hitting some shots. Right here, you can see I put a shot on there, put another shot on here. So it's a really good tactic to keep moving and being able to put shots on your opponent without actually turning around or hard aiming or anything. This is actually a combination of a reaction shot, boom, and a back A. So I used both of the methods I taught you guys in this video. Of course, guys, this is private match. If you want to see me do this in real life gameplay, I do have multiple montages as well as gameplays on my channel you can check out so i hope you all enjoyed this video we got one more thing we got to talk about which is wall bouncing guys and i will be doing more of these videos and i will be willing to talk about individual to topics more and individually because i do understand doing all this together is a lot to take all right guys let's go ahead and get into that last topic which i'm sure most of you were waiting for wall bouncing guys all right basically so how you want to wall bounce is you really want to practice pulling up against the walls i had to slow mo it down because it's really hard to explain guys but what you want to do is take notes from the back a's and the up a's and everything you learned in this video you want to get against some cover and just practicing pulling off cover over and over again you want to pull off cover go to your left pull off cover go to your right pull off color go to your left maybe go to your right one more time you know just switch it up and eventually you're going to get fluent the main thing with bouncing though is you need to be able to look all the way back at the wall don't just angle your character or give it a quick look you got to look all the way back and sooner or later you're going to have your bouncing looking clean and smooth now there is more to it from angular to adding things to your bounce and having a little bit of slide, slide movement going on the game doesn't allow all types of bouncing but you could do a lot of types of bouncing just nowhere near as fast as gears of war 3 of course but the main thing is to pull back bounce so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys a uh, clip that i hit in multiplayer of course real quick just me out playing bouncing everywhere i'm not sure if the guys saw me but i just got up to him got far enough till i could headshot him now, if you guys want to see more outplays and more Nasher clips like that, you could check out my first Gears of War 4 Nasher montage I did. It already has 500 likes. And also, guys, I will definitely be doing more videos like this, and I'll put more attention to wall bouncing and reaction shots because I know those need a lot more videos, and probably they need their own video themselves. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I want to give a quick shout-out to Chaos Meticulous and Chaos Desi. They really helped me out. Without them, I wouldn't have able to been creating this video as quickly as I did so much love to them and please guys let me know what else you'd want to see let me know what you want to see me individually do a video about because putting this whole video together was a lot of work but I love doing it but I know I might have skipped over some stuff because I talked about so many things I didn't go in depth with everything but I hope you all enjoyed peace out